Hey everybody, welcome back to Global Conflict TCG. Ryan here with you. Um, all right, so let's do this devlog 15. Uh, first, I'll start off. Apologize, devlog 14. There's some video issues, so I'm going to recap a little bit of what I talked about in in 14. Um, but definitely 15, dev, episode 15 now is going to be an update. Um, so since the last devlog, I've spent really like the last couple weeks since that devlog, um, continuing to work on the UI system for the game. Um, with the goal in mind of like creating like screenshots and getting ready to, to post a Steam page for this game. So um, that's what I'm going to focus on today. Let's go ahead and dive into it. So I think you guys have seen some of this already um, with like the title screen and stuff. Um, I'm not going to lie. I probably put like this last week and a half um, solid into the deck builder um, screen. And so we're going to let's go ahead and dive into that. So we'll go ahead and click play. Hear a little bit of background music, um, but yeah, so kind of like, so this would be as if you were like starting up the game on your desktop. So you'll hear a little bit of background music. I got it turned down, um, but yeah, we got the title screen here, Global Conflict, TCG, um, all these buttons work now. Um, the screens are not, like I haven't built the free play screen yet. It just shows like the title free play. Um, that's not working yet. Campaign is not set up yet. Um, Got to do that. Collection uh, screen does work, so you actually can scroll through your cards here, and you can see they're numbered. So it shows you what you know what number of cards you have. You can see the whole 50 card set is in here. Um, if we go back, so the build deck. So if we click on this, we can see that it takes you to your deck. Um, so like. If you had built decks, they would show up in the menu here. I'm gonna. That's kind of probably the thing I end up working on next. Um, but this plus sign here, so to make a new deck, we'll click and click on that. All right, and so here is the the deck manager. Like I said, I put a ton of time into this to get it to work. Um, just like all the little things you got to do to get you know get your collection to pop up to keep count of everything. It's definitely took a lot of figuring out but it works now so the cool thing is you got your collection here shows you the number of cards that you have in your collection so of course like everybody that starts this game brand new is going to have zeros across the board um, until you get your very first starter deck in the campaign um, but this is just kind of a mock collection right now you can see i have like just varying different numbers of cards um, doesn't really mean anything i just have numbers in there for testing but what's cool is in this collection is you can like double click the card and take a look get like a, a blown up view of it you could read it um, you could take a look and then of course if you want to start building a deck we can do that just click the plus sign numbers there we go and you can see it adds to the your deck menu over here um, and so you just keep adding and of course you could just click them here you could click you know left or right to add or subtract cards um, another thing you can do is I have some filters up here so let's say we want to look at like command cards, right? We could do that and we'll filter out. Here's our command cards. So we'll go ahead and add a few of these. We'll add some of those, some of that. And you can see they're adding to the menu. And then if I click back to all, it'll reset the, the collection. And then you can see it shows all my cards in the deck menu here. So it's kind of cool. I click ammo. We'll scroll back to the top. Say, okay, I need some of these ammos. We'll put a bunch of those. Um, I need some more command cards, so let's put these. We'll put one tank buster. Let's put a shotgun, Kevlar vest. What else do I need? A couple of these, one of those. And you can see it's also keeping count too. So I got 36 cards so far. Um, what else do I need? Uh, let's go back to units. Oh, I only have three units. Yeah, I need a lot more of those. <laughs> so put one more marksman, put a bunch of those guys. Here's the M1 Liberator. Definitely got to have some of those. Uh, put four. Let's go down to the Universals. So we'll put a Ranger, a Marine, a Commando. Take a Hurricane Hauler. Take one of those. Take one of these Avalanche. These are pretty good cards. Um, this card is really nice. Um, and then the Frank Fortress. You can see the, the outline is kind of kind of messed up. I got to fix this in Affinity. Um, but I just haven't had time to do it yet. But we'll add a Frank Fortress and a Tex Westwood. So we still have eight more cards. So the next thing to show you on this is we 
So like if you don't want to scroll through the menu, that's fine. You actually could um, click this button here, which is not done yet. I gotta find a better way to make it look. Um, but this is the explode deck menu. And if you click on that, it takes you to a deck view, uh, which is just kind of a nice way to see like all the cards that are going in your deck in like one place. So that way it's just easier to look at. They have the card numbers that you have in the deck. So you can see we have four light infantry, two marksmen, two rocket men, four tanks. Um, and then of course you can filter those. So if you click units, it'll show you just your unit cards. Uh, if you click command cards, it'll show you just command cards. You could double, of course you could double click them like that. If you want to see just your ammo, there's your ammo, 15. Or if you just want to see all, you could do that too. So I took this menu was like inspired from Pokemon uh, TCGO where like on the desktop version, you could build your deck and then go to like an exploded deck view to see all your cards, which just, it helps out a lot. Of course, once you're done with this, you can press go back, take you back to the deck manager. You see, we're not done yet. We have 52 out of 60 cards. So let's go ahead. Um, let's just add some ammo. We'll add some more ammo. If I scroll up, there they are. They're at the top of the collection. We'll just keep adding ammo. There we go. And then you can see we got the save button here at the bottom is still disabled. So now we got to put a deck name. So we'll put test deck. There we go. And then now the, it highlights green and we could click save. And there we go. And so at this point, this is about as far as I got. Um, but what I can tell you is if we pause it on the back end. So let's go on the back end. It actually did save. I have this. I have the save set up. So if I go to player deck collection, we can see that there is right here a playmaker array list proxy. And here it is right here, test deck. It's actually a string, a string array. And if we pump this up to 30, it's not gonna show you everything, but you can see all of the cards that we picked for our deck. So, you know, your light infantries, all of these are string names. Um, and where this comes in, so essentially what the plan is is like you can see how it saved your deck um, when you go to like free player to the campaign and you select that deck to use it will basically take that string or that string array um, as a save it as a variable and then transfer it to the next scene and load it when you start to play the game so that does work um, what else I think that's it for this really um, so we'll just go ahead and click out but you can see that it works like it actually does like to get it to work that smooth it took me a lot of trial and error a bunch of times where things were like miscounting and i'm forgetting to clear variables and it's adding like extra cards to my collection and that's why it took me so long to get to this point um but definitely the good news is you can see the deck builder it works pretty good it's fast um, it keeps count of everything um, on the back end of that so like if I just kind of show you guys what it looks like. So we'll take the home menu off. Another thing too um, is that for this entire UI system, I'm just working off of one canvas here. Um, and I'm just like toggling screens on and off as I go. And so you can see like the home menu, the collection, um, the deck menu, which is going to house all your decks. Um, there's the alternate build deck menu. Um, I named it that because this is actually the version 2. <laughs> of this menu that I had to create. My first one was a disaster, um, but the second one worked pretty good. If I click on that, you can see this is the actual menu here. Um, a lot of work, like I said, a lot of work went into this screen. There's actually two separate screens here that show you. So like this is the standard deck menu. And if I turn that on or off, and then I turn on this second screen, you can see this is the exploded deck menu with the filters. So we toggle between those inside of the, the deck builder menu here. Um, but yeah, just a lot of like, you know, on this part, you have to like load the collection. You have to um, deck build, the, you know, there's a deck builder controller. So like this one's kind of interesting. If I pull back, um, roll this over here. So like this is the deck builder. So this is essentially the FSM that takes care of um, when you click the plus and minus buttons to add cards or remove cards from the deck This is the FSM that handles that entire process and you could if I zoom in you can see deck builder menu add card And then if I scroll over so that's one flow and then 
deck builder menu subtract card which handles that and it works perfect like I got it really dialed in um, another thing also in conjunction with that is the the prefab cards that we use um, so the prefabs on the cards that we use to like manage the buttons um, also play a big part too and they keep track of like how many cards are in the deck how many are in your collection things like that um, a lot of work but yeah I won't dive into all that stuff but I just figured I'd show off the UI menu and kind of where I'm at um, but that's pretty much it for that Let's see how far are we running on this not too bad um yeah so we're about 10 minutes in so that's where I'm at with the menus still just working on these I'd say the next step um, I have to finish so like this is pretty much done I have to finish this deck menu so it'll list all of your created decks um, and then even after that um, I need to actually work on a save manager so I actually went out um, and got the easy save asset that goes along with playmaker um, so I'm gonna actually have to make like a whole save manager and, and manage all your files so most likely even though like um, I'll show you the home menu again even though this home menu is like the home menu, there's actually gonna be some screens before this that where you'll be able to make like new save profiles, load profiles or continue, things like that, or delete. Um, and that's all gonna be handled with like easy save, um, just setting up profiles and things like that. So that's something I gotta work on too. Um, I think when I get the save manager done and I have the deck, the deck builder or deck manager part done, I will probably put the UI system down and pivot back to the actual game because um, where I left off the last the last part I left off the game I still have to finish the start manager for the UI so I got to make a, or not the UI but um, the start manager for the AI the computer um, I finished I kind of left off like I got to build the decision tree for the AI um, so we'll do that and then just start building out like all the attack systems and things for the game um, so still plenty of work to do, but man, the U the UI has like really, really come a long way. Um, I'll just go ahead and kind of thumb through it again. Um, compared to where I was at like two weeks ago, like holy cow, like this thing. Um, you can see a little animation in the background with the dust. It's kind of cool. Um, but it's, it's really, really come a long way. And just, you know, we'll click deck go to the deck manager here we are you know we can we can load our decks we can add cards it doesn't matter how fast you click it um, you can subtract minus add you know you can do whatever you really want like it's pretty cool um, another thing too like this is probably for the end of the project but I'll have to figure out like a progression system and how you earn cards and kind of the rate at which you earn cards especially um, since the collection is only 20 card or 50 cards, which is not a lot and that's 50 cards including ammo cards So it's really like 46 cards um, not a terribly big set to be honest, but um, You know, it's it's pretty it's, it is what it is. We'll just have to figure out the progression um, And get all that stuff lined up But yeah, I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys got something out of this um, if you have any questions if anybody's watching this for um, dev reasons like learning how to make a card game or a deck builder um, or card collection manager things like that um, feel free to hit me up with questions I know I didn't show a lot of the back end on this one um, but I am like I completed this entire thing using Playmaker so it's you know I didn't write any like C sharp scripts it's all done with Playmaker on the back end you can see all the little Playmaker emblems on there so um, definitely a lot of work went into it but you absolutely can do this with just playmaker um it and i'm proof i'm showing you showing you that it works um but all right i'm gonna go leave it there hope you guys enjoy go ahead and like subscribe if you guys are interested um be on the lookout i'm gonna get a little bit further and i'm gonna start working on the steam page itself so i'm kind of hoping see it's july i'm hoping that i have a steam page up by maybe the end of this month or or maybe like early august so i'll definitely announce it to you guys once we get there but um hope you enjoy we'll see you on the next devlog